What's up guys and girls? We're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 4 of Euphoria. And this episode will put us at the halfway point of the season and of the show. So I'm kind of sad. I'm already pretty much halfway done with it. Uh, eight episodes of this show just doesn't feel like enough to me. I need more and more and more. But, uh, man, the show is still making me feel. The show is still crazy. Uh, the last episode, of course, we had the heartbreaking scene with Brew crying at uh, Fez's door and him not letting her in. Uh, she's at such a low point. She's banging on the door, throwing all these insults at him. Uh, and then she eventually does leave. And like I said, she's at her lowest point, so she calls uh, the dude from her meeting, the dude who been through it all, was a former junkie, you know, he wants her to do better, of course, he says call me if you want to get pancakes and just if you want to stop trying to kill yourself, uh, and we'll do that, and she eventually does call him at the end of the episode, hopefully that doesn't lead both of them down a dark path, uh, hopefully he can help her and really get her in the right mindset and really help her want to change uh, who she is and how she is acting and dealing with everything, uh, and Rue also kissed Jules, like, I didn't see it coming. Some people said, I can't believe you didn't see that coming. That surprised the hell out of me. Uh, it surprised Jules, too. Rue started crying and ran off, and that's when she went to Fez's. Uh, so we'll see how Jules handles it this episode. Jules is also still obsessed with this shy guy, and they're going to meet late at night. Rue was worried. I don't know if you want to meet him late at night, just knowing who he is. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The full reaction to this episode and all other ones I have watched and will watch for Euphoria will be up on my Patreon page. The link to that will be in the description box of this video and all other videos I post here on YouTube. So if you want to check out the full uncut, unedited reactions, feel free to hit that link and do so. But if we're on YouTube, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Help. These kids look miserable. Thank you, fucking cunt! Ellen! Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna fucking repeat Dr. K. You just bought yourself only 30 minutes in the quiet room, Jesse. 30 minutes? It was wrong then. It's like he needs to stay in there for like two fucking years. It was an elaborate plan to admit her to a fucking psychiatric hospital. Dude, like how in the world do you do that? The truth was. Jules hated herself. She hated how her brain worked. Wait, can you leave me the rest? Sure. Ah, uh, you sh uh, should have done that. Please don't be mad at me. No one can be even mad at you in that situation, dude. I mean, I'm a hundred percent straight. Cool. Met her new best friend. And although she had never really been in a relationship, or even in like love, she imagined spending the rest of her life with her. So, uh, learning more about Jules' backstory. Twisted backstory from the, from the start. Well, what happened to make you call? She hit rock bottom. Does the way that you feel about it remind you of anything? What do you mean? You know, like, the obsession. But this is a good thing. Taking drugs feel real good. The first time you try them. He's got a point. Uh, no. Okay, so, nope. Why? Because I don't want to die. Where are you? I'm standing by the fucking Ferris wheel. This Ferris wheel or that Ferris wheel? Why is there more than one Ferris wheel? Listen, my parents already don't like you. What? Damn, dude. Go home. That's... Get changed. And come back looking like a person. Oh. Oh. Alright, man. You went a little too far there. She looked fine. Should just show her off anyway. This is my girlfriend. You don't like it? Oh, well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a no for me. That's a no for me. Spinny rides. I, I'm throwing up, and it's not just going on me, it's not just going on the ground. If it's anything like that, I'm throwing up on everybody. But, but, you don't have to 
have to talk about it. Talk about what? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you, you guys like in a relationship? No, we're just chilling. Are you just I mean, yes, they're in a relationship. We just like, just trying to help keep a girl like her. Why? It's not like we're in a relationship. Oh. Because I don't even care about football. Whoa. Oh. McKay, you walked yourself into that. Stand up for your girl. Be like, yeah, this is my girl. Ain't she the prettiest girl in the world? Yeah, I'm going to show her off to everyone. Why would you say that? Show them, okay? I don't want to talk about this right now, because we're in the middle of a fucking carnival. It's not like it's that big of a fucking secret, Cass. Why? Who cares what she did in the past? You know what? what I'm seeing here, I see this now. She freaking loves you deeply. You said you loved her. This didn't need to happen. Didn't need to bring up that secret. Who cares? I went through Nate's phone. And it was weird. It was dick central. The guy. What guy? The one from the motel. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, the guy from the motel. Cal Jacobs. Oh my god. It's Nate's dad. That's Nate's dad? That's Nate's dad. Yeah, sure. Nate, Nate's about to kill his own father. Big time awkward. You grab another slushy, I can get more tickets, and then get super drunk and ride the Ferris wheel. Deal. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Right. <laughs> I, want, I want to like Thank him, you. but I, I'm just so unsure of him. That's suspicious. Perfect, yeah, like, good drinks. So if they got something to say, they should just say it to my face, right? Or you could just say it to their fucking face. Right? That's what I would do. This might be the, the drugs talking. I'm supposed to be here right now because I'm dressed like a hooker and none of you like me. Oh, God. But I just wanted to say congratulations. Right, get out of here. <laughs> oh! What in God's name is your problem? You cunt. Oh! Oh, dude. Chill. One question though. Yo, what? Oh, God, dude. Oh, that's Everything is moving too fast. My heart is racing, there's too much going on. Big dick and fuck every girl in your grade. How old are you? Sixteen. Somebody's gonna fall off and break their neck. Just saying, as your girlfriend, those pictures are a little suspicious. That's not what it looks like. Dad, well, then explain to me why you have someone else's dick in your phone. I just, I need you to promise me that you're not gonna tell a soul. I'm not gonna tell anyone, I promise. Yeah, like, anyone life. else? Yeah, Pretty told like three people. I'm sorry, I got so angry at you before. What are you looking for? Go back to your fucking chili stand! Oh yeah, I do that by the way. She was hitting me. <laughs> That's me. Oh man, I hate this. Right, you get up, let's go. I hate her. I hate go. her going down this path. Fucking good time. <laughs> then let's go. I'm not playing with you. Let's go. What did you do? Decide to just clean up and like, oh, I want to become a mom. Man, right? shut up. Was it after you fucking OD? Oh, that was after you fucking OD. Oh yeah, now it's time to come on. Now it's time to go. Come on. Look, I know you have the. Power to ruin my life right now. I'm begging you, pleading with you. Please don't. I have no intention of like hurting you or anything. 
I'm sorry about earlier. I think. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that's the nicest I've ever seen him act. <laughs> That's crazy. It's not there. Look at this scary ass place. Where are you meeting Tyler at? That's about to go really bad or really horrible. One of the two. I just, I don't, I don't. Hey! How is Jill supposed to take this? Tyler? In the middle of nowhere! Oh my god! Oh, Nate. No. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not. I'm not here to hurt you. I've spent every moment of every day getting to know you. At night. I fall asleep to you, and in the morning, I wake up to you. I kind of hate it. A, part's, a part of me wants to like it. I don't trust you, Nate. I kind of hate it. God, are you broken inside? And that's precisely why I don't trust you. Bitch, what? The last three weeks, you have knowingly produced and distributed child pornography, including obscene images that were taken on school property. I've compiled all these photos, along with an IP address and an account that's linked to your name. I sent them to you. No, you sent them to an account of a person who doesn't fucking exist. And I mean, anyone can anonymously report child pornography, right? But, um, what the here's fuck, what I'm doing. man. You'd end up on a sex offenders list. It's no more college. The rest of your life. You'll be harassed and spat at and treated like a fucking animal. You're smart, you're generous. You got a big heart. You deserve. Whatever the fuck it is in this world that you want. Don't try to ruin my life. No, I won't have to ruin yours. I think you're a fucking faggot just like your daddy. <laughs> I mean, there's evidence. Wow. That was indeed a shit show. To learn that that's Tyler. That! Nate! Sucks. Poor Jules. She's okay after that forehead kiss. Everyone's okay after a forehead kiss. This is the real love right here, man. This is what everyone wants to see. Look at this true ass love. Whether it's romantic or not, it is true ass love, dude. And they're so. Oh! Oh, that's more fireworks than earlier. Oh my god! Wow. Well, there we have it, Jules and Rue. Which I hope I can speak for everyone when I say hell yes. Um, crazy, crazy episode for sure. Uh, love Jules so much. 
hate Nate so much. My words can't describe how much I hate this dude. Um, for a minute there, for a minute I was kind of feeling it when he first showed up, giving his speech. I, I was feeling a little something. I don't know why. Can't explain why. But uh, it was, a, it was a, I don't know, a little sweet at first. I don't know if sweet's the right word, but it was a little something. And then uh, he goes on talking about child pornography and I'll ruin your life if you ruin mine. Man, fuck you, Nate. Ooh. I can't stand, I cannot stand Nate. I can't stand his father. This, this dude is not a good person. Even what, when he choked the other girl just for uh, making a scene in front of his dysfunctional ass family, straight up choked her. Like, he could have hurt her really, he did hurt her really bad, but that could have been serious. Um, then he immediately, immediately wants to cower down when he finds out she has, knows about all the dick pics. Like, Nate is, is such a coward. I, I like, he, I will give it to him. Like, he is a very complex character and one of the most well-written on the show. Uh, and one with the craziest story and one I'm looking forward to seeing every week. But he's just not a good dude. Like, uh, at, at all. At, and for Jules to know that Nate is shy guy, sucks. Kind of sucks. Also, Nate's dad cowering down when uh, Jules made a scene in front of him, and he walked up to Jules. Jules can ruin his life as well if she, if she wanted to, uh, but she didn't. And they just uh, both acted like cowards. That's really the only way to put it. And uh, of course, we we love the ending. We, we didn't like Rue's sister being in uh, the drug scene, uh, smoking weed, the wrong crowd. Rue comes over there, tries to get her to go home. Everyone's talking shit to Rue, talking about her. OD, it's like, like those are not the people I hang out with, and that could possibly take her sister down a very dark path, because Rue has been down that path, it's what her sister knows, um, so it was good for Rue to get her out of there and then walk her home, not tell their mother, just go to sleep, hide under the covers, I got this, uh, so that, that, that's good, I just, I just don't want to see her sister go down a similar path to Rue, um, I know it's just weed, but, but, but still, we, we don't want to see her go down a path like that in the wrong crowd, which she was hanging with. We'll definitely do that to you. But yeah, uh, we're halfway done with the season. We got four more left, expecting a lot more sad, twisted, messed up shit. And this, this is what the show uh, is a powerhouse on, and that, uh, they're, they're really good with these six, these twisted scenes. But, uh, we love the show. We love Jules. We love Rue. We love Fez. We love Strand. Strand from Fear the Walking Dead. Don't really know his name here. Pancake guy. Um, yeah, we, we love we love all of them. McKay really let me down. Like McKay is a guy with a good heart and I think has good intentions for the most part. But to say we're just chilling, who's it? Like who are you trying to impress? Nate? His father? He's not people you want to impress. But uh, just for that, and then the thing about the secret, uh, where it's really not a secret what you did, who cares, blah, 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 it's in the past, like you two really seem like you loved each other and are having a good time together, and that could have been better, maybe McKay will redeem himself in a way, hopefully, uh, but yeah, you gotta do better than that, expect better from him, All, most of the men in the show suck, but I really did expect better from him. Yeah, guys, the ending, Rue and Jules, wow. The kiss, uh, the true love, it, it's all there. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm out.